Well, hi there. I've come back to this rather wonderful field. So pretty here. It's hard work because of the stubble, obviously. But the reason I've come back here, it's very close to where I live, and I found something rather wonderful in this exact spot. And even though I wasn't recording on the day, it's rather worth having a proper look at it and knowing where it came from. There is so much contamination in this field. It is absolutely, it's not quite, well, it is basically green waste. It's not masses of it, but it's enough to really, you can hear everywhere I go. Can you, you get the idea? What actually convinced me to dig this, I'm not exactly sure, because it sounded as scratchy as all the other bits of aluminium and rubbish I was digging. It's all over the place, as you can hear. But I'm jolly glad I did, because I think I've technically... Cassie, come here! Because I think I've technically unearthed my first hoard. Come here, Tasky. Gosh, with this dog, you can't... <laughs> you can never completely relax. He's getting much better at coming back. But still, come on, come here. But if he knows you're not watching, he's liable to push off. It's six or seven, or perhaps even eight, hammered coins stuck together in a little sort of stack. I think they're Charles the First pennies. And I had a proper look in the, in the, in the surrounding area. The, absolutely nothing else, just loads of bits of can, aluminium, rubbish everywhere all over the place i found a nice livery button and that was about it so technically we're dealing with a hoard it's three or more coins and it's treasure because it's two or more coins found exactly together um i mean i'm absolutely thrilled i mean when even when i dug it up i just thought tasky come here good boy <laughs> Even when I dug it up, I thought, oh, God, that's just a squash bit of foil, like the bits of squash foil I've been digging. So it just goes to show there's a lesson there somewhere. I'm not quite sure what it is, but had I dug up every single piece of rubbish, I, would have, I probably wouldn't have had time to have found it. But there was something in the signal, I don't know quite what, which made me dig that <laughs> over the other scratchy signals in this field. It's sort of slightly annoying in a way because it means I'm going to have to dig everything. Is it part of a larger hoard? I mean, who knows? We will, once it's been drilled, once it's been turned over, I'll have another, I'll have another sort of proper look. It was down there, Tasks. Silver. <laughs> Find more. Anyhow, let's go to HQ quickly and have a closer an ins inspection of these. My first hoard. It's not how I imagined or how I wanted. I imagined a great big pot of gold Roman coins. It's not that, but quite frankly, it will do. Ugh. Hi there, so here we are back at the ranch. Oh, come up. <laughs> here we are back at the ranch. He, this dog, he gets so jealous if he thinks I'm talking to someone else. Right, go on, down, 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 down. To take a closer look at this now let's get the old nail bar magnified i love this it's one of the best toys i've bought in ages um i'm guessing there's six or seven coins here i'm not exactly sure because i haven't tried to prize them open and there's a bit of dirt in between I don't know what they are 100%. I will put them on the detectinghub.co.uk um, because I'd like to know what they all think about this anyway. 
Um, and if I've got any more information by the time I produce this video, I'll put that in the description or I'll, I'll put some text up now to tell you. But I'm guessing, having looked at Spink, that they're Charles the, Charles the First pennies, which makes them, what, roughly Charles first 1625 to 1649 so let's say 1650 that makes them over 300 years old there's also more than two of them found together which makes it treasure unless and I've just written some notes down here just so I don't forget the treasure act don't get me started on the treasure act I know it's almost impossible to get something like that right and let's face it we are jolly lucky in this country that, we dip, that we're not governed by the same rules as, say, in France and Switzerland and stuff. There's much tougher um, detecting laws there. But anyway, I don't think the Treasure Act necessarily works. I don't think finds liaison officers, etc., and all that lot necessarily work. But that's another story. Treasure is all coins from the same find consisting of two or more coins over 300 years old. Unless they are less than 10% gold or silver, and then you need 10 of them. And a hoard, I think, technically, is three or more coins. So <laughs> I, I haven't found a hoard before. I, I'm pretty sure I will do one day, a proper one. I think everyone does if they work hard enough at it. But um, I think that means that's a hoard. That tiny little stack of coins is a hoard. As I said earlier on in the video, I had a really good look round in, um, in, the, in the area to see if there were any more little clumps or little sort of clusters of, of, of hammered coins, nothing. But then again, as I put, as I showed, it's really contaminated. The amount of junk in that part of the field is, is completely, well, I'm absolutely amazed that I even dug those. Of course, of the, of the way that they're all together and the size of it, by the way, the weight, just for interest, is 4.2 grams. And I actually dug out somewhere here a little Elizabeth I penny to, um, to, to just to compare. I don't think these are Elizabeth I pennies, but um, oops. A single one of these is 0 0.4, 0 0.38, 0 0.4 of a gram. So, I mean, there must be a bit of dirt in that and they might be slightly heavier coins, but it means there's, there could be a few in there. So is, could that be part of a, a larger amount? Are they slightly soldered together and stuck together because they were in a pot or something, perhaps, where they've had the chance to be soldered together? I don't know. Again, on the detecting hub, um, they, when they get back to me, they, they might have some, some good ideas. And there is a chap who's very, um, very knowledgeable, who follows this channel, who also has some very interesting ideas of what could have put them into that sort of configuration anyway. I'll update on this, either another video or in the community post, because I think it's, it, it's important and I think that's a really, really nice find. I'm absolutely thrilled. Do I take them apart? <laughs> that's the next thing. I, I suspect most people will go, no, leave them. You can't, you can't, that's sacrilege. Well, curiosity might get the better of me. Anyway, I'll show you a couple of photographs of these now. Um, and that's that, my first hoard. Jesus Christ. Come on, Tess. Come here. Well, I don't believe this. I can't quite believe my luck. We only came out to film, <laughs> to film a little bit of footage of finding the little stack of coins in this incredibly contaminated ground full of foil and aluminium. I had another signal on my way home. I thought, well, we'll have a little bit of a look while we're here. Why not? Nice to be out. Nice to be out with the dog. I'm a bit blown away. I didn't, please forgive me if I'm a bit sort of... That sounded very dull and boring, but got a nice clip to it. I think it's a gold hammered coin. And I'm not... 
I, I mean, I, it could be a bottle top. I mean, it doesn't seem to weigh that much. That's my only problem with it. I never, I didn't know what to expect on how much these things should weigh. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to convince myself that it's not what it is because I just can't believe that that, that would happen. Um, I, I don't think it's English either. Um, it, it, it's got a funny design on it. It's got a cross on one side, a shield on the other, but it looks... <laughs> <laughs> it may, it's got to be brass. It doesn't feel as heavy as gold should feel. Um, but it's the right colour. And I don't dare bend it around too much. <laughs> I'm completely, I'm completely speechless. Absolutely speechless. Tasky. Um, so this... <laughs> So this field, which is basically full of tin foil and aluminium and bottle tops and wine tops and stuff, has now given me, well, I, I, I don't know what to say. We'll, have, we'll probably head back and have a look at this as well. Um, oh. I've got a feeling it's not what I think it is. But let's just hope so, gosh. Well, hi there, thanks. <laughs> thanks for joining me again. I'm filming this a little bit later after the discovery, so I've calmed down a bit now and I've had a real chance to have a proper look at it. My initial worry in the field of Tesco, <laughs> go away, come on. My initial worry in the field was, I have found, I've been fortunate to have found a few gold bits and pieces over the years. You can definitely feel the weight of gold. It's just really heavy. And also, as I've said before in these videos, gold comes out the same colour as it goes in. That's a given. That's lovely. And it's definitely the right colour. There's no doubt about that. And it's obviously quite soft because it's all screwy and it's a bit doubled over there and a bit bent there, which is really nice. I, I just think that adds to the character. But the amount of times that we find things and, and we think gold, 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 and it's a Lucozade bottle top or it's a brass something or other. And in my heart of hearts, I was just preparing myself for a fall by semi-convincing myself that it wasn't the real thing. That it's easier to deal with <laughs> the reality of it when, when, if it's not the real thing. Anyway, I think it's the real thing. And I was correct in assuming it wasn't English. It's French. It's got fleur de lis all over it. In fact, it's an AQ door of Francis or Francois the first, and it dates to the early part of the 16th century, 1515 to 1519. And I'm absolutely thrilled because I have never found a hammered gold coin before, and I've been thinking about it for a long time. It is just so odd, this, this hobby. I cannot explain it. When, if people say to me, I've never found this or I've never found that and I've been searching for X amount of time, or they're just new to the hobby and they're looking forward to finding nice things, I always say it's, it's, I don't, it's unexplainable, inexplicable. These things are always found when you least expect it, when your mind is completely switched off and you've had a lovely day but found absolutely nothing. That's when these things appear. It, it's just so odd. In this case, I just filmed for the little stack of silver coins. I was literally on my way home, just casually doing that. I wasn't even, I mean, I, it's a wonder I even had my machine still switched on. I just wanted to get back. And little beep, 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 and spade and dump. Anyway, it's, as I said, it's a French hammered coin dating to the early 16th century. I can't really say much more about it. I'm just absolutely thrilled. I mean, just to hold it in your hands. And it still doesn't feel heavy enough, but then you've got to remember it is extremely thin. I, I, I don't know what I was expecting out of a hammered coin when I found it. I've seen photographs of it and I've seen people put you know things up on the detecting hub of the hammered coins they found. Um, and I've just, it's the top of the things I wanted to find for a very long time. Apart from my gold Roman aureus. And that's got to be, that's got to be close, hasn't it? Um, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Anyway, I can't, can't stop touching it or rubbing it or holding it. But um, there we go. That's it. 
I'd be very, very lucky if I ever find another, I would, I would have thought. If you're still with me, thank you very much for listening and let's get back to the field. Well, there is a signal next door to it. It'd be too much. <laughs> but we, I thought we'd better, better record it just in case. There you go, that's what this field's full of. Just tons and tons of this stuff. That's what I'm up against, and yet I've found two of the best things I've ever found. As well, I mean, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be worth really going over this and just digging up a thousand pieces of foil as well. I can think that that's the only way I think we can go forward here. Um, anyway, thank you very much for watching. God, I just want to go home. Um, check that coin out, and um, and see you next time. <laughs>